Welcome to Success Keys TV. Information is the key to transformations. Therefore, if you are not updated you're outdated. In this video we will learn about willingness to give up on the small and go for the great. If you are new here, please subscribe or now. Hey! What are you giving up to go up? No one can go to the highest level and remain a generalist. My dad used to say, find the one thing you do well and don't do anything else. I've found that to do well at a few things, I have had to give up many things. As I worked on this chapter, I spent some time reflecting on the kinds of things I've given up. Here are the main ones. 1. I can't know everyone. I love people, and I'm outgoing. Put me into a room full of people, and I feel energized. So it goes against my grain to restrict myself from spending time with lots of people. To compensate for that, I've done a couple of things. First, I've chosen a strong inner circle of people. They not only provide tremendous professional help, but they also make life's journey much more pleasant. Second, I ask certain friends to catch me up on what's happening in the lives of other friends. I usually do that when I'm traveling and can't block out the time I would need for focused thinking. Two, I can't do everything. There are only a few exceptional opportunities in any person's lifetime. That's why I strive for excellence in a few things rather than a good performance in many. That's cost me. Because of my workload, I also have to skip doing many things that I would love to do. For example, every week I hand off projects that I think would be fun to do myself. I practice the 108010 principle with the people to whom I'm delegating a task. I help with the first 10% by casting vision, laying down parameters, providing resources, and giving encouragement. Then once they've done the middle 80%, I come alongside them again and help them take whatever it is the rest of the way, if I can. I call it putting the cherry on top. 3. I can't go everywhere. Every conference speaker and author has to travel a lot. Before I began doing much speaking, that seemed like a glamorous life. But after logging several million miles, I know what kind of a toll it can take. Ironically, I still love traveling for pleasure with my wife, Margaret. It's one of our great joys. She and I could take 10 vacations a year and enjoy every one of them. Yet we can't, because so much of my time is consumed doing what I was called to do, help people to grow personally and to develop as leaders. 4. I can't be well-rounded. Being focused also keeps me from being well-rounded. I tell people, 99% of everything in life I don't need to know about. I try to focus on the 1% that gives the highest return. And of the remaining 99, Margaret keeps me aware of whatever I need to know. It's one of the ways I keep from getting totally out of balance in my life. Being willing to give up some of the things you love in order to focus on what has the greatest impact isn't an easy lesson to learn. But the earlier you embrace it, the sooner you can dedicate yourself to excellence in what matters most. Thank you for watching our videos, we would like to give another interesting videos like this. But before that, our team will be happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social networks. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily content and inspiring videos like this. We would love to hear your views and suggestions. Kindly let us know what you have in the comments below. Kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell, for you to be notified the next time we upload a new video. Success Keys TV, unlock your potentials and rise above the top. Stay blessed.